Hey, my name is Chris Madrid, and today I'm going to be talking about the very many terms used to define this hair. This hair. So, first term is dreadlocks, as old as it can be called. They're called jata in Hindu religion. They're called locks by a lot of uh, African Americans. They're called Nazi dreadlocks by a lot of uh, uh, Nazi, by a lot of uh, West. Uh, uh, Caribbean and African people, they're called Rasta. I've been called Rasta so many times. So those are the ones, the five ones that I can remember. And so why would we have so many names? Is there a specific name that we should stick on? Dreadlocks is the most common. All white people call their hair dreadlocks. All white people with this kind of hair call them dreadlocks. Actually, Africa, I, I, I live in, in, in Middle East, in Dubai, I have been able to maintain probably around 70 different kind of nationalities who have the same hair from Finland, Lithuania, Romania, Algeria, Tunisia, Chad, USA, Germany, Australia, Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Senegal, I can keep going, Nigeria, I can keep going. I have handled a lot of people from the UK, native UK, Irish, if you want to separate them, Scotland. I have been able to take care of people. Sweden, I mean, it's interesting. From, uh, I said, North Denmark, it's interesting. India, uh, and we all unanimously use the term dreadlocks. Interesting enough, apart from African Americans. African Americans prefer to call them locks. I have absolutely no problem with that. But I have a problem with you not wanting me to call it what I want to call it. I want to call it dreadlocks. So if you ask any African person, they say, my dreadlocks. Can you maintain my dreadlocks? I check my text message and people say, how much you charge for dreadlocks? You get it. But locks is only mainly used by African Americans. From my experience, correct me if I'm wrong. But I have dealt with so many nationalities to understand, you can call them. And in, in, in Africa, Rasta. That's a Rasta man. It doesn't mean we're from the religion of Rastafarianism. It's just the way they'll call you, Rasta. My name is Chris McBread. So there's so many names. You can call them dreadlocks. You can call them locks. You can call them uh, uh, Jatas. You can call them Nati. You can call them Dread. You can call them Nati Dread. You can call them Rasta. Whatever you want to call them, it's the same thing. Uh, for as far as Chris McBread is concerned, call them whatever you want to call them. As long as we agree that everybody can have them. We need to have a movement. I'm calling upon everybody to have a movement where we would get this hair to be respected, regardless of the name. We get this hair to be respected. We can work. We are professionals. And that's the focus what we should put up. We should educate on people that we do wash this hair. We need to focus on educating people on what this hair is instead of focusing on the name. Oh, I don't want to call this this. I don't want to. No. Let's focus on education. Let's educate people or that this hair we do wash. In summer, I wash my hair every day because I swim every other day. It's easy. In winter, not necessarily every day because it doesn't dry that much fast. But we do wash hair, we do maintain our hair, we do oil our hair. It's healthy to have locks. It's not dirty. It's not, we need to change the negative connotation that comes with having this hair. And it starts by accepting that you can call them, oh, I forgot, you can call them sister locks. Some people call them brother locks, traditional locks. They're still locks. They're dreadlocks. Let's focus on education. Let's focus on educating the people on this hair. That's where we should be looking at. Once again, my name is Chris McDreck. And I love my hair. Thank you for watching.